okay. That one's okay. So bad. Connector off of here that was broken. And I cut this one off relatively close and this one off about halfway. So I'll have to deburr all that, clean it up, so I can put a coupler on it. But the removal of this one is complete. I need to clean all that putty off of there and all that, ew, all that Teflon tape. And I think I'll put some gloves on for that, brush it off real good, clean it. And then I can putty and tape it again, or tape it and putty it again, and put the new connections on there. I'm going to skip this tank because the uh, MNPT threads are all kind of boogered up. So I put the union here and I'm bringing it over and I'm just going to continue on and go in there. And I've got a 90. I'm, I'm debating whether to use a 90 degree and just go right in there or continue it on with the cutoff so I have... A way to blast water out the end. I kind of like having that ability. <clears throat> so we'll see. Maybe it'll be a surprise. But right now I need to glue on this coupler to this half of the union so I can glue it to this new pipe. So let's see how that works. Have that union and coupler glued and it's drying. And I have this uh, connector, oh that's bad that that glue got in there, uh, glued and drying with the reducer. I need to clean that out of there. I'm going to use this pipe thread compound and put it all over that MNPT connection. And then I'm going to put this on there. I have bypassed that pipe, that tank, have my union there, a union here. I went to a T, put on a new coupler, reducer, and I put a valve, a ball valve on the end so I can blast huge amounts of water out if I have to purge this line. So I'm going to let this set up and dry and then I'm going to open it up so it can level with the other so I have two other tanks, one there and one there. This one is disconnected. So I'll have three in a row, at least for another two weeks. And then we should be getting our new 2,500 gallon tank. And then these will go to various sundry other projects in the near future. And overnight, and I'm about to close this valve open that valve and then open that valve and this water's going to flow over to these two other tanks. And that water is going to flow over to these two tanks. Now, currently, I'm putting water in this tank. From my transfer pump. So, when I open that, these two will lower a little bit to normalize with that tank. So let's see what happens. Open this one. Wait, I'll close this one first. <laughs> close this one. And then open this one. Maybe. Oh, this one too. This, you should hear water rushing when I open this one. 
as soon as I figure out how to open it. Ugh. All right. You hear the water? Glug, glug, glug. And now I'm going to open this one. I can hear the water running. And I do not see any leaks. Wait. I do. Guess that could be from this. Um, let me check that. I needed to make sure that the tank itself wasn't bursting. And it was not. It was the, the tarp I had over the top had a bunch of water in it. So I'm very happy that that tank is not leaking. And trying to find my measurements. Oh, here they are. 75, 100. So about 120 gallons in here, which means times three. That's 130 there, 130 there. So that one must be a little. So I have about 370 gallons and filling because. I have 175 in the tank that I'm pumping from currently. <clears throat> so good. However, all of this is going to be temporary because very soon we'll get our new 2500 gallon tank and remove these tanks. <laughs>